Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, this follows on we have a raised to power m minus n is something as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. That is, yeah, this becomes a raised to power x over a raised to power 1 equals to 48 on this side. The next step here, and write as a raised to power x over a raised to power one does it, then equals to yeah, we can express it as forty eight over one. The next step here, we cross multiply a raised to power x times one, same thing as a raised to power x, then equals to forty eight times eight. Watch this video to the end and give it thumbs up. Thank you. Now, next step here. We take the log on both sides as this here we have log x raised to the power x equals to log 48 times x here. Then here we apply the power of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, this is same thing as p log m. As this here, what we have becomes x log x equals to log 48 times 8. The next step here, we divide both side by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8. Which implies here, log 8 cancelled each other. And we have x equals to log 48 times 8 over log 8. Then from here, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 48 plus log 8 over log 8. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 48 over log 8 plus log 8 over log 8, which implies here log 8 cancelled each other. We have one left. That is, yeah, this becomes x equals to log 48 over log 8 plus 1. That is, also, from what we have here, 48 can be written as 8 times 6, which implies what we have becomes x equals to log 8 times 6 over log 8 plus 1. Then here, we apply the law of logarithm as well, then all we have becomes x equals to log 8 plus log 6 over log 8 plus 1. Then here, we also separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 6 over log 8 plus 1. Which implies here yeah, log 8 also comes to each other. We have one left. That is x equals to 1 plus 1 plus log 6 over log 8. That is, this becomes x equals to 1 plus 1 that's 2 and plus log 6 over log 8. Subscribe for more videos and also put your comments. Thank you. Next step here, also, you can write 6 as 2 times 3. 
that this over here becomes x equals to 2 plus log 2 times 3 over log 8. Then this also follows the law of logarithm. That is, we have x equals to 2 plus log 2 plus log 3 over log 8. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions. All we have becomes x equals to 2 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 3 over log 8. Then, also from here, you can write it as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 cubed. Then what we have becomes x equals to 2 plus log 2 over log 2 cube plus log 3 over log 2 cube. Then when we apply the power of log 3 comes here and also here. And what we have becomes x equals to 2 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 3 over 3 log 2. That is here, log 2 cancelled each other. And we have 1 over 3 left here. That is x equals to 2 plus 1 over 3 plus also here we have 1 over 3 times log 3 over log 2. Then, next step here, 2 plus 1 over 3, same thing as 2 whole number 1 over 3, which can be expressed as 7 over 3. That is, all we have becomes x equals to 7 over 3 plus 1 over 3 multiplied by log 3 over log 2. Then, next step here, also, we apply change of base here when we have log a over log b. This is the same thing as log a to base b. But this, what we have here becomes x equals to 7 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 base 2. Then, and also bring this together as one fraction. As you have x equals to the SM made as 3. And here becomes 7 plus log 3 base 2. That is the value of x here we have. 7 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem. That is... We substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 7 plus log 3 is 2 all over 3. Then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 7 plus log 3 is 2 all over 3, then minus 1 here. Is it equals to 48 on this side? Then, this is 1 over 1. We bring this together as one fraction here. That is 8 raised to the power. SCM here, that's 3. Then we have 7 plus log 3 is 2, then minus 3 here now. Is it equals to 48 on this side? Then, we have 7 minus 3, that's 4. That is 8 raised to the power 4 plus log 3 raised 2 over 3. Is it equals to 48 on this side? Then, here we can write it as 2 raised to the power 3, which is raised to the power 4 plus log 3 raised 2 over 3. Is it equals to 48 on this side? Then this power multiplies and 3 here cancel each other. And we have 2 raised to the power 4 plus log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 48 on this side? 
Then here we apply the law of indices. When we have a is to power m plus n, which is the same thing as a is to power m times a is to power n. That is, here we have 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 48 on this side? And 2 raised to power 4 here implies 2 multiplied say 4 times. That's 16 times. Here we have a raised to power log b to base a. And this equals to b. And this follows this and becomes 3. Then is it equals to 48 here? And of course, 16 times 3 gives us 48, which is equals to 48 on this side. That is, left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 7 plus log 3 is 2 all over 3. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.